I do my hair toes. Hi everyone, I'm Susan Jones and welcome back to Susan's Sunday Spotlight. In case you haven't been following along, every single Sunday I'm here on YouTube giving you a new gamer activity that you can use in your classroom right away. I actually recently made two new playlists. One is a literacy playlist and the other is a math playlist. In case you're looking for specific math games or specific literacy games, as the videos start to pile up, I thought it would be helpful to put them all on a playlist so you can check those out. You'll be able to find that if you go to my YouTube channel and you'll see videos and then you'll see a tab for playlists. Just click that and you'll see the different playlists that I have. This week I have a fun measurement game for you. This one can be played with non-standard or standard measurement, so this will really work in grades K through two and it is called Stringy Shapes. All you're gonna need for this game is some string like so, string or yarn will work just fine. And then for non-standard measurement, I like to use these little base 10 cubes, so the little centimeter cubes. I like those because you use a lot of them to line up and measure the string, but if you're doing standard measurement, you will just use a ruler. Let's see how to play. Alright, so Stringy Shapes is an activity that is already included in my hands-on non-standard measurement unit. That was a mouthful. But I will have that linked below in case you want to take a look at that, but it's very simple to prep yourself. So all you'll need to do is on pieces of paper, I like to use half sheets of paper, you are going to draw some squiggly lines, like so. Or, like so. Or, like so. Or, like so. You get it. I like for students to do this activity with a partner and you'll see why it's sometimes helpful to have two different people doing this. And I like to have at least two different stringy shapes at each table or in their group that they're working at. So what I actually like to do is around the room I will spread out different stations where there will be at least two stringy shapes over at the station. And then when students go over there with their partner, the first thing that they'll do is take a look at the shapes that are in front of them. And they will have to go ahead and guess which one they think is longer. And once they get the hang of it, they'll even go ahead and estimate how many centimeter cubes long they think those shapes are. Then all students will have to do is they will take their string and they will go ahead and place it on top of their stringy shape. And again, this is gonna be hard to do like this. This would normally be flat on the table, of course. But again, this is why it's nice to do with a partner. So students will go ahead and guide the string along the shape. And once with their partner, they have it where it belongs, they go ahead and snip it at that point. I usually have a bunch of yarn and string available at the table for them to go ahead and cut it as many times as they need. Once they've already cut it, they go ahead and take their string and they pull it straight. With their partner holding it, they will go ahead and lay out how many cubes they need to see how long the shape is. Or again, if they're doing standard measurement, they will go ahead and measure it and then compare which one was longer, which one was shorter. A lot of times in our primary classrooms, we're going around, we're measuring all sorts of things in the classroom. This is just a fun way to switch it up. And it's also a great way to show students that we can still measure things that aren't necessarily in a straight line. On the bottom of these recording sheets, I always have a blank space that says blank long so they can write down this shape is how many long. And for this activity, after they had gone through and done all of them, they would have put them in order by longest and by shortest. And they would have talked about if any of their estimates were correct or incorrect and maybe why that is. <sighs> That's how to play stringy shapes. If you end up playing this in your classroom or if you've played something like it, leave a comment and let me know down below. As always, if you like this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe and hit the bell. The bell is how you are notified every single week of my brand new videos. Thanks for watching. Bye. I don't drink soda, but I drink like five of these a day. I guess it's good for calories, but it's not good for your teeth. Apparently it does the same thing soda does. So, fun fact. <laughs>